I feel on it's Tommy and I'm just looking ahead to tonight's game to Old Trouble. The first thing, most important thing is we won on Saturday. We finally got over the stuck of not being able to win games and Unsworth got his first competitive win with a 2-0 win at home to Oval. It wasn't pretty at all. It wasn't the worst. It certainly, certainly wasn't the best. Obviously, um, first half, the three things guaranteed in life, death, taxes, and all them to score early on. And it was a bizarre goal from Felkeld. It took a deflection, went in. The sloppy, but you know what? As I always say, they all count. Game dried up a bit again. We seemed to sat back and went a bit flat. Garner went off injured. Kuto, come on, I thought it made a difference. Um, he played some good balls into the box, a few good crosses. We seemed to press some more. And we could have scored towards the end of the first half. Second half, Yeovil did come out, but they were a poor team. They were poor at shooting. They had a good shout for a penalty. Obviously, we started to play two up front. The game changed a bit more, came to life. Fondop got the goal, which we needed. That second one wanted to kill teams off. I thought Young Carty looked all right. There was a chance we could have shot and had the keeper off the line. I believe it was a bit of excitement. He didn't do. But in the end, we got the win. We got the three points. Uns was off the mark. We've now got something to build on and now to progress and push on in the league. Keeping a clean sheet was vital. I thought it was very important. Norman made a brilliant save. Um, Maynard had a decent game at the back. Again, I apologise last video. I got Maynard and Norman mixed up. It's just one of them things. It happens. Um, it's good to see the return of Francis Angol as well. Unfortunately, I said we lost Garner. It looks like we've lost Porter again to injuries. But slowly but surely, I think players are coming out, fitting into place. Going back to the Wrexham game, we've been allocated 851. This is due to their safety advisory group. Personally, I can see why they've done that, but I think it's just an excuse to them, really, so they can have more tickets for themselves to sell to these, you know, tourists that have suddenly got jumps on the Wrexham bandwagon because of the owners. Anyway, it's still expect them to be snapped up and to go really quick. So if you have got a season ticket and you're not going to watch it on TV and you're thinking, well, don't hesitate. I've already seen tonight's game vulture them. Loads of people last minute asking for spares. We do get last minute fans who want to go. The difference with this one is there won't be that many knocking around, but you have got the option of watching it on TV. Including the cut games, we're now unbeaten in five matches, which isn't a bad stat to have. Obviously, the next three games tonight, Old Chinum, Halifax, Saturday, Gates on Tuesday, three years, we're looking at getting maximum points from. Obviously, this is all that we make hard work of things. It doesn't always go to plan like that. I'd gladly take a minimum of seven, ideally, because you know it's not going to fall into plan well, especially on TV where other facts are going to raise their game for it, but you never know. Um, obviously, it's been announced today that the game with Torquay in December has now been switched to a Sunday. Bearing in mind, we have a game on a Tuesday with the Weldstone. Will that get switched? Again, with the Wrexham game in the FA Cup, people are asking, will the Gateshead game get switched? But with it already being pre-scheduled, I think it's down to gate said whether they say yes or no. Ochenham are currently 17th in the table, one spot below us. They drew 4-4 with Torquay on Saturday. They play at Moss Road, ground they've been at for a long time. They're in between really Manchester and Cheshire and come under a WA postcode. Oldham were the first ever winners of the National League when it was called the Alliance Premier League in 1979-80 season. And they were, they didn't win promotion due to the electoral system where clubs were elected. And the following season, they retained the title and again didn't get elected. There was rumours though about folks, not everyone turning up to folks such as Grimsby and Luton. Prior to that, when they were playing in the Northern Premier League, they were very unsuccessful a couple of times then on getting into the Football League through the electoral system. Once promotion was allowed, they haven't really been up there and have had a couple of relegations to the Conference North and to Junior Bond Premier. So they are a traditional non-league club that are well known as well in the FA Cup. They've had a few upsets over the years. They were once nicknamed the Manchester United of non-league, so extra incentives to give them a bit of stick tonight if we want to. Hopefully tonight then, we can go out there and we can get the win. See you all on the terraces. Good night. See you there.